Good morning, everybody. As you can hear, the roosters are crowing. It's just about 7 a.m. Um, what can I say? I'm going fishing. I want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. If you guys are going to go party tonight or today, please be careful and always remember St. Patrick's Day, wear your green, all right? Um, I wanted to start this video off before I left. My friend's picking him up, picking me up. But I want to show you guys two new, well, actually three new things. They're not mine, but Henry at Prime Sports. You guys are awesome. Henry and Mark, you guys are awesome. Um, they're letting me basically play with this stuff. And if you guys want these types of things, you can go through them, order it. It's, it's, I'll show you. But just so you know, Mark does all the, uh, wrapping of the, the poles at Prime Sports and I'll tell you what looks good anyways let me get to uh, showing you what I'm talking about all right first one I want to show you it is a black hole Cape Cod special with Torzite guides custom wrap it throws from three quarters of an ounce to four ounces so this is your light medium jigging and plugging pole it's uh nine foot two inches i already told henry that uh my wife might not let me uh give this one back to him so i might be uh might be buying it, but check that out. Torzite guides, custom wrap. This is the chameleon color. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Black hole striper Cape Cod special. He says, uh, 9-6. Three quarters of an ounce to, my goodness. Three quarters of an ounce to four ounces. That's a, that's a, to me, I think that's a, a huge jump. But, here, let me, uh, let me set it in the grass and I'll show you the whole thing. All right. Because it's early in the morning and the sun hasn't peaked yet, because the sun hasn't peaked yet or even really shown itself, um, the colors of this rod has not come out yet. Uh, I will be taking this thing out to the beach today to have some fun and uh, hopefully you guys get to see it. I hope you guys really get to see the colors that come out. Okay, this next rod is called the Weapon Junior. Um, okay, so this one isn't as pretty as the first one. Honestly, this one's not as pretty as the first one. But I'm gonna tell you this. This thing is kind of a badass. Here, let me read you the specs before I even show it to you. All right. It's a eight foot six fast action. Um, it's called the Weapon Junior. And it throws half ounce to two, two and a half ounce. Um, up to a 175 gram jig and up to 30 pound braid. It's from Century Rods. So, if you guys know anything about Century Rods, from what I understand, they have a, basically it's an unlimited one year warranty. You break it any way within a year, you send it back, no questions asked. There is that mosquito again.
Sorry. You send it back, no questions asked within a year. They, and they'll, they'll either fix it or replace it. Check it out. And he also let me use a size 2000 Daiwa Kage reel. So apparently this is a, a new way for the Japanese guides. The first eye on the bottom is out there really far and I guess it's um, supposed to be for casting and uh, strength. But let me let me lay this one down on the grass for you guys. Okay, so those are the three things that they're letting me basically play with. Um, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Other than my Black Hole Suzuki Ultralight 2 that I got from them, these are the lightest rods. And this size that throw this heavy, I mean, two and a half ounces throw <laughs> You can throw a big bubble easy, you know. Um, geez, I mean, but they're the lightest and uh, most definitely some of the prettiest poles and nicest poles that I've had the opportunity to uh, handle and play with. I really hope I get stuck in some fish's mouth today with all three of the poles as I'm gonna bring my Suzuki, I'm gonna bring the Black Hole Cape Cod Special, and I'm gonna be bringing the Weapon Junior, and I'm gonna be bringing some of my other stuff to dunk. Me and uh, my friend, we're gonna go to uh, Point of Point and have some fun. Police Beach, Point of Point. Wish us luck. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to point out to you on the uh, Weapon Junior here, The real seat, it's a double locking. So that's the top and that's the bottom. So, I mean, it's not new new uh, tech or anything like that. A lot of people know about it. It's It just makes things so much more secure. You lock it down with the, with the two screws and it's not gonna back off. That's literally all it is. It's a friction hold that's way better than just the single. Just adding this little piece right here. I've had poles like that and I've never had a problem with the reel coming loose. But just wanted to share that. All right, guys. Like I said, we're here at the fishing spot. It's my friend D. <laughs> this is his second time fishing in Hawaii. Um, first time he caught a pole paw. Yeah. And yeah, he was all stoked. There's a good sized popa, bigger than a shaka. But here we are, Puana Point. It's 818, it's high tide, so we need to get the baits in the water. Wish us luck. There's D setting up his pole. We got one big pole up. I'm gonna set up another one. Oh man. But now, it's time for my Suzuki. All right. So here we are on the rocks. I'm gonna throw a Mark White lure. Let's hope for the best.
It's the first cast with this pole. Feels pretty good. I just gingerly toss it because I don't know the pole yet. All right, so the Mark White wasn't working. So I'm gonna throw this one. It's a dual, uh, dual international realist pencil 110. Yes, sir. I love the action on these things and they cast. They cast real good. All right. And whips it out there, man. Where'd it go? That's good. Good luck, D. You can put her there. Good luck. Promised you to show you what this pole looks like in the sun <laughs> look at that can't can, does the camera do it justice like seriously does the camera do this thing justice man so i have my six case uh spheros on here i'm gonna tell you this this is perfect this size real for this this rod absolute perfect tell me that ain't something to look at man <laughs> henry i don't know man, man you gotta care something with this. I, I don't know if you're getting this one back bro you gotta care something with this one, oh. that is a beautiful pole I got me a Kaku black floater on there. I'm just gonna set up all my poles so I can just go and change and not have to worry about leaving them over there. Yeah. He's got something on. Damn! Cut you off, man, I think. It 
ticket. This is a puffer fish. You gotta retie all that. Cut it off of here, retie it. Oh my god. So the fish did this? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> hey, action is action, bud. <laughs> hey, that's the first time you heard your post pole go like that, huh? Yeah. All right, Henry. I know this isn't the intended purposes for this uh, setup, but I want to try it because I feel that it would do really good. Now, this is the uh, the Weapon Junior, and. I just really feel that this would work well. With the Daiwa Kage 2000. Jeez and cast so easy. And they're hitting it. Just take it. Take it. Stop playing with your food. Get away, turtle. Oh, something flipped up there. Oh my God, this thing casts like a dream. This thing casts so good. That's the new one. This is the, the chameleon one. That's the first time doing it. Yeah, with this one. Oh. I'm telling you, bro, I love all these poles. Look at that. All right, this, this is bothering me. I just saw this. Okay. All right, parts of a reel, but this one really bothers me because it's got a hook. And there's more. Just found this one too. I gotta go pick up. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Ah, there it is.
hooks, line. It's not like it's in the water, guys. Like for real, they're all good. Like what I'm telling you, seriously though, I don't want to give these back. I don't want to give these back. Like this pole right here, this weapon junior one, this setup right here with the, the, the Daiwa Kage 2000, perfect for like Kala and the Nui fishing. Or like light tackle um, jerk baits. Perfect.
All right, guys, so that's it. Um, we didn't catch them all. Um, he got a good hit on his pole. Don't know what it is. I'm thinking it's a puff for the way that the, the leader came back up, but we'll never know because it didn't stick. Um, big catch, though. I hooked a surfer. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I caught a couple uh, you know, jumping jacks. Um, he caught a crab. And I got to try out three beautiful rods. And D got to try out the same three beautiful rods. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. Mark, 100%. Perfect wrapping job on those rods. Um, thank you guys, you and Henry at Prime Sports for letting me try them out. I'm going to keep on taking them out and actually hook up some good fish. Like the tide was just not with us today. There's a lot of people in the water. I did hook up, like I said, I did hook up a surfer, but, uh, this guy night and day casting <laughs> the, an Okuma rod compared to casting that uh, Weapon Junior from that Century Rods. Yeah. I mean, he was sailing that that light float on that, that Weapons Junior. Like I said, that thing, that would be a perfect Nanui Kala Polani Rod or taking it on the flats to throw like light, like, like you know medium sized bubble or jerk baits perfect 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 and especially with that uh daiwa kage reel that 2000 with that 15 pound test yeah like how was the reel itself it was just light it's just easy work and i could toss it a hundred times it was just it was easy work it was... like i said this he this is his second time fishing and yeah you could tell the difference big difference I mean, I'm not, I, I don't expect him to go out and buy a setup like that, you know, but if you guys do want to, and you guys feel comfortable, go check out my guys, Henry and Mark at Prime Sports on Nimitz. Um, I want him to go over there and uh, actually check out what they got too, but you know, <laughs> he missed them twice. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to cut it down a lot because there was not a lot of catches. Yeah. But thank you again, bro. Oh, man, it was a pleasure. All right, guys. Stay hungry.